there is a plethora of available tools for building AI experiences. Most of them are not specifically built for educational purposes. What are the distinct characteristics of different tools and how can they be used in higher education? What type of AR experiences can educators create with their students? The AR Toolkit is intended as a powerful tool for educators. It is a collection of available tools for building AR experiences suitable for the purposes of higher education. The Toolkit categorizes online tools based on their distinct features and the capabilities they provide. It also describes aspects of AR technology. And it shows basic types of educational activities that you can perform with AR. You can use the toolkit to learn about AR technology and select a tool that fits your and your students' needs. WebAR is short for Web-Based Augmented Reality and it's a relatively new technology that works without a mobile application. You can access AR experiences directly from your mobile device using the native camera and a mobile web browser. This flawless user experience is one of the main reasons why web AR is rapidly growing in popularity. You can use AR Scavenger to create a web AR experience. It can be installed as a plugin in most publishing systems like Canva, Brightspace, Blackboard, Moodle and WordPress. You can add markers similar to QR codes. These can be scanned with the user's device's camera. And then this can trigger blending a 3D model of your choice with a camera view. Alternatively, it can display an interaction like quiz, an interactive video, image hotspots or a question set. You can try it out on the H5P homepage. Create a free account and look for the content type AR Scavenger. AR Tutor is an AR platform that enables you to create and edit and publish AR experiences. AR Tutor also supports markers. You can select the type of augmentations that will be displayed when a marker is detected by the AR Tutor mobile application. Augmentations can be images, sounds, videos, YouTube videos, 3D models, URL links, and HTML code. You can also interact with the augmentations, zoom in and out or rotate images, videos and 3D models and place them on any first surface, since AR Tutor supports plane detection. Additionally, you can also add co-authors to your AR experience and work collaboratively at the same time. It is even possible to build a field trip AR experience. Here, students only see the augmentations when they are at the right location. You can try the AR Tutor platform available to create your AR experience. One possibility is to watch AR experiences with a mobile device, but by far the best AR impression you get with a head-mounted display. HoloLens 2 is one of the most widely used AR headsets nowadays. It requires no additional hardware or cables when using it. Through its lenses, the user can watch the holograms in 3D. For interaction, HoloLens recognizes hand gestures, gaze and voice commands. There is an inbuilt tutorial on the HoloLens that will guide the user through its capabilities. For now, AR headsets are mostly targeted at the enterprise market, as their price ranges from 1.5 to 3.5 thousand euro. A default 3D viewer application on HoloLens allows users to view and upload models. For a more collaborative experience, users can explore the Microsoft Mesh application to view and annotate models together. For special educational needs, for example in medicine, applications like Hollow Anatomy and Neverlands bring specific functionalities. Let's summarize what you have learned in this video clip. The IPEA project has produced the AR Toolkit, a collection of available tools for building AR experiences. AR Scavenger can be used for creating a web AR experience without the need of installing an app to a mobile device. 
The AR Tutor platform is a free tool that can create multiple types of AI experiences. To see the AI experience, the AR Tutor app needs to be installed to a mobile device. HoloLens 2 is a standalone headset that allows users to view holograms in 3D. To interact with the content, hand gestures, gaze, and voice commands are used.